The Philippines, a country made up of over 7,000 islands, has a unique set of challenges when it comes to building. Each island presents its own set of geographical and environmental hurdles. We're located in the Pacific Ring of Fire, which means earthquakes are a part of life here. The constant threat of seismic activity requires us to be ever vigilant and prepared. We also get a lot of volcanic eruptions and typhoons. These natural disasters can be devastating, but they also push us to innovate and improve our building techniques. And the land itself is really diverse. From lush mountains to expansive plains and intricate coastlines, the variety and terrain is both a challenge and an inspiration. We have towering mountains, flat plains, and coastlines constantly facing the sea. Each of these landscapes requires different engineering solutions to ensure stability and resilience. But for Filipino engineers, these aren't just problems to solve, they're opportunities to be creative and resilient. They see each challenge as a chance to develop new methods and technologies. Our ancestors had to be resourceful from the very beginning. They built homes and communities using the materials available to them, showcasing their ingenuity. They used what nature gave them and adapted to their surroundings. This tradition of adaptation and resourcefulness continues to this day. This cleverness is a big part of Filipino structural engineering. Modern engineers build on this legacy, combining traditional knowledge with cutting-edge technology. It's all about overcoming obstacles and creating structures that can last for a very long time. The resilience and creativity of Filipino engineers ensure that our buildings stand strong against the forces of nature. A traditional Filipino house is a great example of this ingenuity. Long before concrete and steel existed, Filipinos were masters at building with bamboo and wood. These materials were easy to find, good for the environment, and perfect for the climate. Bamboo, known for being strong and flexible, was used to build the framework for countless homes. Strong hardwoods like Nara and Malave were used for beams and supports because they lasted a long time. It's built on stilts to protect it from floods and allow air to circulate in the humid weather. The slanted roof, often made from nipa palm leaves, lets rain run off easily. These structures were more than just places to live. They showed the harmony between nature and human creativity. When the Spaniards arrived in the 16th century, they brought a new style of architecture to the Philippines. Stone and brick, materials known for being strong and long-lasting, became really important. Huge churches, impressive government buildings, and forts like Intramuros in Manila were built all over the islands. The Spanish also brought European building techniques. Arches, vaults, and domes, which had never been seen before, became common features. They used lime mortar, a mixture of lime, sand, and water, to make the building strong and long-lasting. These structures, many of which are still standing today, show the grandeur and strength of Spanish colonial architecture. The 20th century brought a whole new era of building materials. Reinforced concrete and steel, which were even stronger and more versatile, changed the way we construct buildings. Skyscrapers, which seemed impossible before, started to define city skylines. Huge bridges connected islands and made travel much faster. The arrival of these new materials happened at the same time that Filipino engineers were being trained in modern techniques. They embraced these innovations and adapted them to the country's unique challenges. Designing buildings that could withstand earthquakes became extremely important to ensure the safety of people in a region prone to seismic activity. The best way to see how structural engineering has evolved in the Philippines is to look at its most famous structures. These buildings are not just feats of engineering, they are symbols of the country's rich history and cultural heritage. Each one tells a story of innovation, resilience, and the country's architectural journey. From the colonial era to the modern age, these structures reflect the changing times and the enduring spirit of the Filipino people. Intramuros, this walled city built by the Spaniards in the 16th century, shows just how strong stone construction can be. It stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of its time. Its fortifications have survived centuries of earthquakes, typhoons, and even wars. The resilience of these walls is a remarkable example of enduring strength and historical significance. San Sebastian Church. This church, finished in 1891, is an amazing example of steel construction. 
Its design and construction were ahead of its time, showcasing the innovative spirit of the era. It was pre-built in Belgium, then shipped to the Philippines which shows how innovative people were at the time. This method of construction was revolutionary and set a new standard for building techniques. Its steel frame has proven to be incredibly resilient, surviving both earthquakes and typhoons. This durability has allowed it to stand the test of time, remaining a significant landmark. Modern skyscrapers, buildings like the PBCOM Tower and the Grand Hyatt Manila, represent the country's adoption of modern high-rise construction. These skyscrapers are not just tall structures. They are symbols of the nation's progress and ambition. These buildings are equipped with the latest earthquake-resistant technologies and stand tall as symbols of progress and innovation. They embody the forward-thinking mindset and engineering excellence that continue to drive the Philippines into the future. The future of structural engineering in the Philippines is being shaped in classrooms, where young minds are being molded to tackle the challenges of tomorrow and on construction sites all over the country. Universities like Mapua University and the University of the Philippines are educating a new generation of engineers, equipping them with the knowledge and skills needed to innovate and excel. These institutions aren't just teaching technical skills. They're fostering a mindset of creativity and problem solving. They're encouraging a spirit of innovation and a dedication to sustainability, which is crucial in today's world. Sustainability is no longer just an option. It's essential for the survival and prosperity of future generations. The Philippines, which is very vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, needs engineers who can build infrastructure that can withstand these challenges. This means using environmentally friendly building materials, designing energy efficient structures, and implementing solutions that can handle the changing climate. Filipino engineers have a long and proud history of overcoming challenges, adapting to new technologies, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Their ability to innovate and build for the future will continue to shape the country's landscape for many generations to come. The story of structural engineering in the Philippines is a testament to the human spirit's ability to not only survive, but thrive in the face of adversity. As we look to the future, the role of education in fostering sustainable practices and innovative solutions cannot be overstated. With the right training and mindset, the next generation of engineers will be well equipped to tackle the challenges of tomorrow. Their work will not only transform the physical landscape, but also inspire a culture of resilience and sustainability. The journey of structural engineering in the Philippines is a powerful narrative of innovation, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of a better future.